Alright guys, holy motherfucking shit. <laughs> I can hardly see out here, it's so bright. But uh, it's 41 degrees Celsius today. 41 degrees. Now I thought that I left my 40 degree heats back in Alice Springs, but apparently not. Um, this is the first time you've seen my, uh, my apartment that I'm staying in. I'm going to call it an apartment, it's an Airbnb. In fact, uh, it's a bedroom that's been built underneath this house here. And there's one thing I haven't done, stupidly, and that is jump in this absolutely epic looking pool. So being that it's 41 degrees, uh, being that I've been here for a week, I'm going to do that and then we're going to have a chat about how things have gone. So guys, as always, thank you so much for your support. It's meant a hell of a lot during this first week of being here in Rockhampton. And uh, I'm going to get out of the sun, cool off, and get back to you. Let's do it. Okay, I feel humid again. Not to be confused with Uman that David Icke says. Now, if you don't know who David Icke is, that's fair enough. I didn't either, and uh, you probably don't need to. Now, I reckon we've just turned a new leaf. I think we have. We've been here, or I've been here, in Rockhampton for a week. I got here at 2.20 a.m. last Sunday. Today is Monday. I've been here for an entire week. <laughs> and I threw myself in the deep end, literally. <laughs> no, I really did. I mean, it's a brand new place, brand new environment. I'm not going to say it's brand new, I mean I'm, I'm used to Australia, I, I spent almost 10 years of my life here, but it's, it is a brand new uh, city with new people, new challenges, and a new weather pattern, okay? So New Zealand is, uh, is where my, my heart is, um, but Australia is where I need to be at the moment. For anyone who is following along at home, I am a father of two small kids. And my eldest just turned three on Saturday. So one of the main reasons why I've come over here at this particular time um, was to make sure I was here for that birthday. Now I don't know if I will stay here permanently, but I am locked in for at least the next couple of months and that makes me happy and makes me feel content. So what have I been doing for the, for the last week? Well, I've been seeing my kids every single day and it's been rewarding. It's been challenging at times um, for reasons I will get into. I'm going to mention this once here and once only. I'm not smoking any weed. I haven't smoked weed for 10 days, which has been tough in itself. And I have been making videos about that experience and you'll see those on my channel um, in the coming videos. But today we're talking about what I've actually done day to day, how it's been. And I'm pr feeling pretty excited, you know, I've been here for a week um, and I haven't done a hell of a lot of physical exercise, but what I have done is sort out and work out exactly where I will be doing my physical exercise. So, so at the moment I see four different types of exercise that I'll be doing and I'll be, you know, I, I won't be working a full-time job just yet. Obviously I've got my YouTube channel that's ticking along quite well. I've got you guys to thank for that. Um, the amount of money I'm earning through my YouTube channel at the moment is enough to uh, to sustain me. It's enough to keep me above water. Literally again. <laughs> God, the puns, the puns of the man. Um, so I've got you guys to thank for that. I've got my memberships, my new members on my, my YouTube channel to thank for that. And I have actually just made my first members only video. So if you are a member of this channel, you would have seen that. And I hope, I hope you uh, enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you feel appreciated because you certainly are. And look at that. 
There's a cloud. Thank God for that. So the four different types of exercise that I will be doing, or I could do, is one, obviously weight training. There is a world gym here in Rockhampton. Great surprise. I cancelled my Snap Fitness membership. I was absolutely over that. So if I do, if and when I do, join back up at the gym, which will probably be in this next week. I'll update you when I do, but it will be at World Gym, which is a good gym. It's a nice gym. It's got great equipment. I'm excited to go there. I haven't seen it yet, so that'll be good. The second mode of exercise will be, believe it or not, skateboarding. So I found a skateboard online. I'm going to go and pick it up this afternoon. I bought my daughter a bike for her third birthday. I can't wait to take her down to the skate park. We need a flat surface, but I need something to do while we're there as well. So I'm gonna go and get a skateboard and I will be taking her down whenever she wants to the park, taking my skateboard as well, so I've got something to do, something to practice. Because I will say that if you have seen that video of me trying to do a kickflip, I had, I had a huge amount of fun. I had a, you know, that was, that was fucking awesome. I didn't land a kickflip, but fuck. I had a huge amount of fun. And at, at the end of the day, you know, doing things that make me smile, doing things that are fun, is what I'm about right now. So I'm gonna get that skateboard and I'm gonna do my very best to land a kickflip one day. Now the third mode of exercise we're gonna do is boxing. There is many fighting gyms here in Rockhampton. I've got a pick of the bunch, but the one that I'm gonna to go to is called Archer Street Boxing. So I'm not gonna focus on Muay Thai, I'm not gonna focus on Jiu Jitsu, I'm not gonna focus on kicking, I'm gonna focus on boxing. I wanna get my head movement down, I wanna get my punching power there. I want to work on my combinations, I want to try sparring, I want to get my footwork um, at a level that I can feel confident, you know, going into a boxing gym, not only hitting the bags, not only doing the drills, doing the classes, but also getting involved in sparring. So that's my third mode of exercise, and the fourth, is one that I'm extremely excited about. I had no idea that it was here. And it is, believe it or not, a local grid, gridiron team. A local gridiron team. So I have the ability to play, or at least train, with a gridiron team every single week. They're called the Rockhampton Wolverines. I urge you to go and follow them on Instagram. Um, go and check out their games on YouTube. They've had a couple of games filmed. I really don't give a shit what the skill level's like. Um, having a look at their Instagram page, they do actually film a bit of their stuff, like they film the trainings, they're documenting the game, they had a little combine, they had a mini combine last year. So, you know, all of that stuff I'm really into, and, and I think it's the perfect team, the perfect team, the perfect amateur team for me to get involved with, and that is what I will be doing. So those are my four modes of exercise. And I haven't done any of them yet. <laughs> so I thought I'd just throw them out there so you guys know what I'm going to get involved in over the next week. Now, as far as where I'm living, that is the next mission. So I've got this place, or I've got a room in this place for another five days to get me through to Friday. Within that time, I'm going to try and organize a rental. I don't know how easy or hard it's going to be, but I will be moving in with the mother of my kids and the two children. Not as a couple, but as co-parents. Now we have no choice but to give it a go. We have no choice but to try that. And I'm, I'm, I'm excited at times, um, but you know, I, I'm, I'm not naive enough to say that it will definitely work, but I am confident enough to give it a shot. And I'm having such a good time with these two kids that I, would like to be living in, in the house that they live in. Now we're gonna be having separate bedrooms, so the kids will obviously get used to that, and that's just gonna be the way that we co-parent. There's certainly no way we're gonna sleep in the same bed. There's no way we're gonna sleep in the same room. We both know that we need our space at times. And having the two parents in the house is gonna allow us to get that. Because at any point in time, I could go in my room, she could look after the kids at any point in time that she needs some space, she can go in her room and I can look after the kids. Whether that be chilling in our room, whether that be, you know, going out, doing something, we're going to share the load. That's what I'm here for, and that's what we're going to do. So, that's about 12 minutes of me talking, letting you guys know exactly what's going on. There's a 
you know, it's, it's, it's a decent place. I'm excited about the possibilities. If nothing else, I'm just happy to be here with my, my, my kids. I'm happy to be here with my two children. I will say that my youngest, she's still not sure about me. I've been here for a week. She's still... <laughs> Every time I look at her, she, clo she closes her eyes. <laughs> She, she covers her eyes with her hands, right? If she's in a good mood, if she's not tired, she won't cry. But if she's tired and I look at her, she literally starts bawling her eyes out. Like, she has no idea who I am yet. And, and, I, and I couldn't really expect her to have any idea because I left when she was six months. So, at the end of the day, we're working on it. At the end of the day, this is my first week in Rockhampton. We did it. We made it. We're making it happen, guys. And your support means a hell of a lot. Okay? The last thing I'll say is transport. So at the moment I'm relying on, on Miffy to take me around, which is something I don't want to do. So I spent all day yesterday looking at cars, looking at secondhand cars. I wasn't able to find anything soon. Alright guys, what is up? I think, if my memory serves me correctly, the last time I saw you guys was outside in the pool. My battery ran out. It's the next day. I'm happy to say that I've actually sorted my transport out. Now, I was about to tell you what I was going to do for a car. I had a few cars that I was looking at. Nothing was suitable. A couple I actually messaged. I was really keen on. They're sold. It seems any car under three grand here in Rockhampton has something wrong with it. So I've decided to go for an old favourite. Something I've had before. Something I've used before. Something I've always enjoyed. But I thought might not be practical, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to get a scooter. So I've organized a 100cc Honda Lead scooter. It is the best deal I can find. I'm getting it for 1800 bucks. It's got 13,000 kilometers on it. And I can't wait to, to ride it. So last night I took 800 bucks over to the guy. Um, saved it. I'm going over today to pay the remainder of, of the money, which is $1,000. Um, first of all, I'm going to go to the bank. Second of all, I'm going to go and buy a helmet because it doesn't come with one. And third of all, I'm going to go and pick up the scooter. So I thought I'd just let you guys know. I thought I would finish this vlog off well. Um, this is my update after a week here in, in Rockhampton. It is Tuesday today. And it's going to be a good day. So when I do get my transport, I'll let you guys have a look. Um, all going well. I should be back here in about two hours. And uh, I'll have some wheels. So we're progressing. <laughs> It's got to happen. I can't, I simply can't continue to rely on, on Miffy. Um, it's not fair, especially when and if we have an argument and I'm still trying to get her to help me out. Like it just doesn't work. I need my own wheels. I have promised Tate a ride on it. So I'm going to have to get two helmets eventually, but I'm just getting one for a start and uh, I'm excited. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the support. This is me in Rockhampton after officially nine days. I've got a lot to look forward to. I hope you're having a fantastic day and peace out.